Alright, well, we just, uh, pretty, we're pretty much done with the Brotherhood, aren't we? Um, we've got some new missions by then. So let's get to it, shall we? Um, I've updated all my mods and everything, so hopefully we don't get so many crashes. Last episode was a nightmare. Kept crashing every, like, four or five minutes. But, uh, hopefully it was just an out-of-date mod or something. I had to admit, I had to, uh... I had to pretty much, you know, uh, update them all, so... Let's see... Still in the dark, perhaps? Okay, so we're going to find the missing discs from the Brotherhood and we're going to give them back to Paladin Ramos because uh, if I remember correctly, last time the the the, the, the kind of uh, guy in charge of the Brotherhood now... Um, oh, what's this? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Some sort of mod thing there. Alright, looking very vibrant. Very good. Okay, so, uh, if I remember correctly, if you, uh, if you let him live, so to speak, then it, what the heck is that? I'm not going to ask what that is. <laughs> Talk about glitch. What the hell happened with the scorpion, man? Jesus. That's some scary stuff right there. I thought it was a face hugger or something. <laughs> oh, I see some glitches in this game, I'm telling you. But yeah, I remember last time it's like, uh, oh, scorpions. Let's get out the gun. <laughs> Scratch one. Strange that they didn't see it yet. Do you like killing scorpions? There. It's a long way away though. Die vomit. <laughs> Bloody hell, there's loads of them. Look at them all. The gun I'm using, if you're not familiar, is the gun from Blade Runner. Now, if you haven't seen Blade Runner, I thoroughly recommend it. It's a very atmospheric, very strange kind of film. Set in the future. Popping off scorpions left and right. You no know, box scorpions, of course. Yeah. So uh, the mods I've installed are, you know, the ones I had before. The only thing is I uh, added some additional stuff that's supposed to fix bugs and stuff. Supposed to add stuff to the game. So and also I've added the uh, oh, what the what on earth is that? Oh, it's the quarry. Ah, oh dear, I'm in this part. Oh dear, look over there. That's one of those badass monsters. Time for us to beat a hasty retreat. Let's see um, where we're going to go first for this mission. Let's check the old world map here. Okay, well, there seems to be... Seems to be one... Let's say three locations, obviously. One of them's to ask questions and stuff. But there is another one quite close by. It's actually over here. So I'm actually heading in the completely wrong direction. So we'll head over. We'll head over here. I wonder if it's meant to be. Uh, I think we're meant to go up Black Mountain, actually. If I remember correctly. But we'll follow the thing anyway. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It's nice to get in, out in the desert, you know? I mean, it's been a long time since we have walked through the desert and shot stuff. 
Well, at least it seems like a while since we did that. Oh, hello. Come on. Right in the chops. Yeah, as I'm getting closer, it's becoming clearer that I probably can't reach it on foot, but we'll try anyway. Yeah, it's getting all rocky and hilly and kind of impassable. Yeah, looks like it's up there somewhere. Although, it seems, still seems attainable. For some reason my sprint's gone. Um, don't know why that is. Yeah, I need to go up the hill. For some reason my sprint's gone. I guess it's one of the one of the mods has uh, decided to remove the sprint, which is a shame. But I seem to be running pretty fast anyway. I mean, look at the speed. It's like pretty pretty fast running around. So no big loss really. Well, I guess we'll have to head towards the. Uh, the road there, hopefully we don't get splattered by a devil saw or whatever it was called. You know what I mean, the big chomp things that, uh... can't remember what the damn things are called now, but they're really nasty. I remember shooting a fat nuke at one and it still didn't kill it. Oh, a needle shack. Yeah, we're on the right road here. Now, if I remember correctly, this mountain's inhabited by, uh, super mutants. Maybe this is a different one, I don't know. This is a dangerous place, human, especially for your kind. I suggest you turn back. There's nothing good waiting for you further on. As you might notice, the, uh, the, uh, I don't really want to call it tooltip and, in, uh, in interface is being upgraded, so it's a little easier to see. What makes this a dangerous place? You must have heard a radio broadcast. The why a human would follow her invitation here is beyond me, unless you didn't listen very closely. The voice on the radio belongs to Tabitha, the supreme commander of Black Mountain, or as she calls it, the state of Utopatha. She took control of this place almost two years ago. The super mutants here do whatever she says, and she says humans are to be killed on sight. Sounds like you've had enough of Tabitha. What if you had some help? Help would improve the odds. Help might just make the difference. Alright, if you're good enough at what you do to meet me in the village up near the peak, we can talk further. I'll have a plan by the time I see you, if I see you. Good luck. It's gonna be a lot harder for you to get up there than it will be for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, a couple of grenades. Willow singing out a tune in the background. <laughs> Please stop singing, Willow. I think you can get it or not too, but... Is that a super mutant? I think it is. Yeah, bad guy. Hmm. Oh, he's coming our way. I think I just made him mad. Ha <laughs> ha! Go on, Dougie. Just got owned by my dog. Right there, my dog does some damage. <laughs> oh, flamethrower guy. See we can shoot the tank. Oh, it's a chain gun. Ah, sick and boy. No, Rex is unconscious. Sick and girls. Not sure what they're doing, but okay. I've had worse. Some badass super mutants around here with chain guns. Holy cow. 
I'll be taking that. Let's check out those uh, mini guns. Consolidate some stuff. There we go, that should do it. Alright, let's get out the minigun for lols. <laughs> yeah. Now we're ready for super mutants. 10 milli rounds? Gecko steak? No, thank you. We're walking kind of slow because of the weight, of course. Whoa! Where did he come from? Well done, Veronica. Glad they can uh, they can deal with these stalkers. Night King. Night King with grenades. That's scary stuff. No doubt there'll be more Night King coming up. If I remember correctly, it's rather radioactive up here. I should uh, probably put on my radiation suit at some point. I wish I had one. Yeah, I've got a spacesuit. That's the next best thing. There's a thing up ahead. There's... Yep, there's one there. wonder if I can sneak up upon them. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, I think they've spotted us. Maybe they will do in a minute. Alright, let's see if we can get their attention, shall we? Took some hits there. Check out the stats. Not a happy chappy. Okay, that's pretty much fixed me up. Nuka Cola. So that was a mess. See nothing on that guy. What you got? Ooh, flame tank. And yet another minigun. Ooh, dark business wear. Something for a special occasion. Right, I think 
I don't think this is the way, is it? Can't be. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Just take some more aid. down with a bottle of wine. <laughs> well yeah, I should combine that weapon. Make an even better minigun. A guy over there. Many guys. Oh dear. It's gonna be fun. Oh well, here he goes. What are you doing, Veronica? <laughs> this is my spot. Oh, right in the flames. Good boy. Heavy incinerator. Ooh, he leveled. <laughs> hmm, well, that pick's pretty much maxed out. Uh, let's get our repair skills up to scratch. Oh, survival's not very good, is it? What's that? Explosives could be better too in barter. Hmm. Let's get some more explosive skills and guns, I think. Thanks so much. Doesn't sound too bad actually the hunter, but uh can go for intense training. Since I haven't done that in a while. Uh, let's have a look. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna get some more intellect. There you go. Become even smarter than before. couple of flamers now. Should probably start frying them. Another guy with a grenade. What's with all these grenades? You never see a super mutant using the grenades, do you? It's time to equip the uh, flamers since we're pretty much out of ammo. Let's see. Oh dear, that one's so badly damaged, isn't it? There we go. One incinerator. Should cause some mayhem. I'm 
just remember to stop hiding so we run a bit faster. Oh, here you come to the radiation, yeah. Um, so, we'll probably change our, our outfit and put on the spacesuit. The helmet doesn't seem to do any good, so... Take some uh, medication as well, just in case. I bet there's our radiation, it's not too bad actually. Let's see, let's take some radix, just to be sure. And I should also should get my health to full before we go in. Seems we're under attack. Oh, crumbs! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, there! Came out of nowhere. Flamer doesn't work very well against these guys. They seem to run around on fire and just fine. Go <laughs> on! Yeah, so the flamethrower is kind of useless, almost. I wanna be a slave channel. You're right there. Poor JT. JT took a knock in there. Yeah, two goons with sledgehammers. Back with the radiation. <laughs> the wine's fall off. Don't know about you, but when I drink a bottle of wine, that doesn't generally happen. Just saying. Let's see. Where's that guy we gotta meet? What's going on down there? Seems to be where the nuke went off, perhaps. Hence the radiation, of course. Okay, I uh, had a lovely crash again. <laughs> um, it's the second one now, so it doesn't seem to go too much better. Oh, hello! Taken to using heavy artillery since. Uh, they die so much faster. Oh, unique rad rod. The contents of this container are unknown, but just by holding it you feel a little more resistant to radiation. You've been granted the Rad Rod Redemption perk. <laughs> what? It must be some kind of mod, huh? the Rad Rod Redemption. <laughs> oh, an average lock chest. Nice amount of caps there, I like it. 
Shouldn't dwell too long since it's packed with radiation around here. I don't think there's any loot in there. We'll just continue up the hill, I guess. Ooh, and another one. Oh. You see why I've got the, the rifle out? It's, you want to get hit with that, that's for sure. Oh, the buster sword. <laughs> yeah, bumper sword. Bumper sword. No, definitely don't want to get hit by those. Any bad guys in here? Let's just check the old map. Seems to be some target there and some target there. The retcon as well. Okay. So we'll keep heading over until we get to there. Let's see what, what see what's going on. Oh! Oh crap! Ah ha ha ha! I totally missed that guy. Time to heal up. That was really bad. I shouldn't have. Should have checked things out better. Let's see. Let's get the doctor's bag out. There we go. And yeah, pretty messed up there. <laughs> Super, super stem. There you go, good as new. Oh, well done, boy. My dog took him out. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, don't tell me my leg's broken. Seems my leg is broken. I seem to be in good... Uh, am I just overloaded with stuff? Ah, yes, I'm over-encumbered somehow. Hmm. Let's drink a nougat cola there. Curious. There we go. Yeah, so there's hombres around here with sporting rocket launchers. That's not good. Have to be very careful. Lovely. Our launcher. Now I need to Let's see. Fix 
just me hunting your rifle up a bit. There you go. Activate transmitter control panel. Trying to think of anything I can drop. Oh, I might, mm, might drop the flamer. It's not really that useful. There we go. That does. <laughs> right, give it a save and let's check out the storage building. Treasure hunt. Hmm. To whom it may concern, I got some pretty good stuff from the last raid, and unlike last time, I don't want any incidents. The only logical conclusion was to hide everything throughout this room. If you can read this, you have my permission to use any items you can find. The stuff I hid. A missile launcher, three missiles, a big C4, blah blah blah. Ah, so Tabitha's hidden some goodies in here, it seems. Why is a key? Nuka beer. <laughs> Nuka beer. Gotta try one of those. You on vending machine? Oh, it's a broken Mr. Handy. Check robot secretary. You quick quickly ascertain that the robot's current AI is in state of hibernation. Uh -huh. Hello, could you please direct me to Mistress Tabitha? Sure, follow me. Thank you very much. My internal clock says it's been six years, 52 days, 40 minutes, and 13 seconds since I last spoke to her. I hope she hasn't gotten lonely. <laughs> Might be, uh, make a good distraction. I'm not too interested in the treasure hunt, to be honest. Ooh. But I am interested in the rounds and the gun. And you could be a limited edition. Nice. Lots of food in here. Is that a bowling ball? Look at this. A reloading bench. Bottle cap. 
Take unique Beetlejuice NES game. What? You can add this to your NES game collection. Chess and have. Oh! Is that Tabitha? Oh no! Miss Tabitha is hurt! Someone get a I doctor! I hate feral. Until one day, I found one with a teddy bear. Now, I feel sorry for them. I Although, do hope the doctor doesn't get lost fight. on the way up here! Of course, of course! So Don't Tabitha burst in, <laughs> and my crew basically murdered her. That's great. That saves me the bother. Don't worry, Miss Tabitha. That's scary. I'll keep you warm with my exhaust. Look at that. Huh. Very scary. So I we know how the doctor doesn't get lost on the way up here. There ain't no doctor coming. <laughs> Ooh, three pistols. What the heck? We can use it to repair our uh, our nine millimeter. Was it Maria nine milli? Yeah, it was. Excellent. We can repair Maria as well. So this one does 16 damage, and Maria does 19 damage. Yeah. 65 DPS, and Maria's like 81, so I think I'll stick with Maria. They're much more stylish as well. Okay, I think we're done in here for now. Oh no, another trunk. <laughs> Three more 9 milli, so I think I'll leave them there. No, I'll be spoke back. Right. Why would anyone want a garden gnome? Strange things they collect. It's going to be all right. How may I serve you? I wonder what Mr. Of course. I'm well, I'm not going to kill him since he's not aggressive. <laughs> it's going to be all right. It's not going to be all right. She's dead, mate. Oh, he's dead, mate, I should say. Alright, let us check out the ground floor. Oh, there's a... That's that other... That's that other, uh, nightkin. Alright, let's get ready to go inside the first floor. Can't remember if it was just Tabitha in here. Your terminal. Hmm. No. Gonna create plenty of chances for this hacking attempt, if possible. That's all of them. So, we're left with Persona.
<laughs> Quality hacking. Let's see what's in here. Log. We've been picking up a lot of activity from the China Satellite Network. The tension is pretty high around here. Frank's been talking about security or securing a place in one of those vaults for his son and family. And when he didn't show up for work yesterday, I think we all knew where he went. Hmm. Oh my god, it's actually happening. We have readings all across the bo board of launches happening everywhere. They must have thrown everything they had. Looks like we didn't hold back either. The computer says we have two minutes until the first missile drops. I can barely type. The mountain shielded us from the worst of the blast. But there's too much radiation. Wow, I can't believe these old machines still work. This place looks pretty defensible. And the radiation should keep the major vast majority of people away. Looks like we've found a home, at least for now. First things th first, though, we've got to get these corpses out of here, poor bastard. Ah, Hermes communication. Hmm. Marcus, I wonder who that was. Hmm. So it looks like most of the crew here died of radiation. Remarkable that all the machines are still working. Another terminal. Hopefully this one's a bit more illuminating. There's another one. Another one, yeah. Okay, we left with sprung. <laughs> Marcus made me type this. The leader of this community, Marcus, said I should start keeping a journal to get my mind off Rhonda. He also said I might find something interesting inside this stupid bil stupid old building. What could possibly be interesting here? The only thing that works here is this junky old terminal. It's amazing, this place is a radio station. If we can get it repaired, we can broadcast across the wastes. Just like Rhonda and I used to listen to. Ah, Rhonda, I wish she hadn't gone away. I asked all the mutants here for help, but none of them could do anything for you, which makes me doubt they can fix this place. On the air, the radio station is fixed, and we've begun sending our message out into the desert. Marcus thinks I spend far too much time in here. But what does the first gen know? Rhonda says they're just one step up from dumbasses, and I agree. The Elite. There was a fight in the yard today between son of us some of us first gens. Marcus made a speech about how we need to work together, but why should we? We were the master's favorites. We don't need their help. Rhonda says we're better off without them. Alone at last. Marcus and the others left today, finally. We have the whole place to ourselves. No more listening to lectures about what we can and cannot see on the air. The airways will be free. Now Rhonda and I can host our own radio show like we've been planning. <laughs> Start of a new era, blah blah blah, safe. Finally got rolled to finish installing the new security measures on my door. Now I can have the privacy I want. Just in case I have a dum dum moment, I've placed a spare key under the stairs behind my building. No one ever goes back there, it should be safe from discovery. Ah. Great news, a ghoul, a ghoul entered our camp today, who has the experience of fixing machines. 
He seems to really like it here. I hope he can stay as long enough to fix Rhonda. Weird. Rhonda just asked me why she would need fixing. She has a point. What was I thinking? <laughs> so we gleaned from that that there is a uh, a key to somewhere. Possibly opening a door somewhere. And it was under the stairs. There it is. Tabitha's room key. We can hear thunder in the distance. It's a good job this isn't Stalker. It's always terrifying when you have to take refuge from the, the storms in Stalker. Look at the view, huh? What a nice view. This must be Tabitha's room. Ooh, three varmint rifles. Don't we need that, really. Lots of nice rounds, though. Right. A unique April wine vinyl. What? Turn table? I'm confused. Is this like decoration for my apartment or something? Why would I want this junk? <laughs> Must be part of the mod. Sheet music book, value 100. Ooh. Well, that seems to be everything, pretty much. Yeah, Tabitha had a sound system. Nice. Yep. Mission accomplished. Now what are we going to do? Let's check the world map. According to the world map, there should be something over there we need to check. And yeah. Can we not drop off? Yeah, we can drop off, I think. Yeah. Let's go over here and see. Oh, it's hard luck. A bit of movement there. Not a lot, though. Nah. A bit more. Oh, almost. Really? Oh goodness. What are those oh it's those um centaur. Just can't reach him for me. Horrible things. His name is Mo. Mo the center. He's quite grotesque, isn't he? And it seems our. Uh... Oh, another nuke went off there. Damn. Lots of nukes. Apparently Mo didn't have any worldly, worldly possessions. Let's just make sure we got the old rad. Where is it? Yep, the old rad X going on. Ah. A unique meteorite. Ooh. As you grab the meteorite, you feel a surge of strength flow through your veins. Congratulations, you've been granted the Meteor Man perk. Interesting. Apparently, he hasn't made me strong enough to carry this shit. 
Ah, Brotherhood Ooh, Paladin. Give me your power armor. <laughs> and there's the holotape we needed. Okay. Let's get out of here. Oh dear. We're in trouble. Let's uh, run away. Okay, Willow, get a load of this. No, I won't trade with you. <laughs> gotcha. Yes, hilarity ensues. Alright, start carrying some of this crap. Why did I pick up beer and stuff? Look at all this crap I pick up, really. You can carry the armor till I work out how it, how it works. I don't think you can use it right away. Let's see. Ooh, LBS plus 20, what's that? I'm going to try putting on the rig. Sense it. Oh, it's not a... Is it not a wearable thing? Huh. Oh, yeah, it is, yeah. Cool. Yeah, okay, so it's a thing so you can carry more stuff. Nice. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's check the old map, see where we're going next. Alright, next it seems we're going to the old Repcon headquarters. It'll probably be their best bet. And we haven't been to the Ranger Safe House either, which would be fun to go to, so... Let's get out of here before we die of radiation sickness. There we go. Yeah. And then we'll take a right out of here. So yeah, I think we'll leave it off there, guys. We never hooked up with that... Um, with the mutants, I don't know where he was hanging out, but we never hooked up with him. I wonder what happened to the guy. It's kind of weird, wasn't it, guys? Well, next time we'll be uh, heading off and uh, f trying to find some more hollow discs and uh, find out what's happened to the other brotherhood of steel, guys. See you then, guys.